Are we streaming? Are we streaming? Anyone knows if we're streaming or not? I'm back. I'm back. Hooray, I'm back. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Right. Okay, I'm back with a 20 second delay. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, see if I can remember how to fade out this music in a very professional sort of way. Look at that. There we go. It's not a crash at all. It's uh, it's something went a bit skew with the uh, with our stream. We're back. Where was I? Oh, I was glowing. That's what I was doing. I was glowing. There we go. And where is my back? My back's behind me. Uh, if I had a mirror, I'd show you. I am definitely not standing up and showing you my back right now. Uh, <laughs> Cool. So we got we got something that is uh, beginning to look like something. I think if I noodled with this a little bit, uh, then we would get something that looks uh, even more fun. But I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with this, especially when you think about the humble beginnings that we had, where we started with. And where where's my little thing here? We started with this. There we go. So we started with just literally a preset from Particle Illusion, standalone, straight out of that. The paid version does not crash. The, the, the software didn't crash at all. The stream crashed, not the software. Software's rock solid. There we go. <laughs> um, let's maybe turn on some of this. Yeah, so we'd, we'd end up with something that looks a little bit like this, which is, which is actually what I used for the, uh, uh, for the open. Um, and to show you that I'm not cheating at all, I will break down. There we go. This is uh, this is what uh, the Particle Illusion um, plugin looks like. Launch Particle Illusion. If you've been following the stream up till now, uh, this might look a little bit familiar to you. Yep, it's exactly the same UI. There we go. And there's my my particle sort of. Stream, uh, streaming along from back to front. Did I use the same preset? I, I think so. Yeah, Vector Ice Falls one. Yes, I did. There we go. Um, of course, cool, so let's let's just uh, go through a couple of the questions that I didn't do uh, before. Someone asked about how they could change um, the shape inside. Uh, if you have a look at the uh, the particles at the bottom. Uh, there are going to be one or more, in this case there are going to be more, uh, actual particles that are being emitted. Uh, and it's inside here, inside this property here, that you can choose and import all of the little shapes that you want to do. Um, so at the moment you can see it's set to uh, an asteroid. Uh, we can set this to a heart ring or cosmic smoke. And you can see that updating uh, in real time over in that side uh, and in fact if I had my viewer playing back at the time uh, it would also be showing me uh, playing back there so that's kind of cool uh, so this is where you import your shapes as well uh, showing and hiding emitters let's cancel this one out uh, if you don't want all of these say these are, are too many you can turn on and off or just by uh, uh, individual uh, particle shapes or emitters, if you've got several emitters, by just going to disable at the bottom. And this will turn off the emitters in there. And this is actually something that uh, I do quite often with some of, the, um, uh, some of the presets. Some of the presets are built out into these really big, huge, gorgeous uh, looking things. But actually, I only need like one or two elements out of it. So I'll just disable the other ones. Um, you can delete the elements as well. Um, but I, I don't know. It's, it's always some, a bit of a superstition. I never uh, want to delete something just in case I change my mind and want to use it again. Um, so that's it. So this is, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the plugin version. 
it looks exactly the same as a standalone. The the differences between the uh, the plugin and standalone is that I don't have to render out. Um, in terms of uh, rendering, we can't render out to um, image sequences. Uh, we only render out to QuickTime movies or H two six four MP fours. There we go. <clears throat> Yeah, the other thing that we've got with the, the plugin version is we have access to, to things like uh, Beat Reactor, so we can have the particles moving in time with music. That would be you know absolutely perfect for, for this type of open, obviously. Uh, Stephanie asks, can you hide a thing instead of deleting it? Yes, you can, uh, just by disabling and enabling. That works like the, uh, the eyeballs do. Um, other things that we've got in the plugin is direct access to to things like particle properties. So we we can change things like frames to preload. Uh, we can change things like random seed, uh, velocity. All these sort of things are available directly within the um, or the plugin itself. So you don't have to go into the UI and then come back out again. So there's there's, there's tons of stuff and and Mocha motion tracking. That's a, a huge one as well. But you will be like if you if you haven't started to uh to play around with the um with the standalone version of particle illusion then i would highly recommend just popping to to borisfx.com uh, and grabbing it free don't have to pay for it get the emitters for free don't have to pay for them if you want to upgrade to the plugin you can as well but you'll have a lot of fun with with particle illusion anyway um, I'm going to, I'm going to finish off in a second. Uh, oh, before that, hang on a second, uh, from David, if you've done something in the free version and then buy the plugin, can you bring in the settings or do you have to start from scratch? You can absolutely bring in all of your settings. All of the projects are cross compatible. Um, show you that it takes 30 seconds to do Well, I, in fact, most of that time is me, uh, not remembering how to type anything. Um, so yeah, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a, uh, make a solid cause we have to apply a plugin to a layer. Of course, apply particle illusion and I'll come into this. There we go. Are, are people still not, some people are still not having the stream. Hopefully they're streaming back again. Uh, and then all I have to do is just open project. And then I can come in here, find my project's live stream, Particle Illusion. Uh, there's the Tron background I did right at the beginning of the stream. It'll take a second for my hard drive to spin back up again. And there it is. So it, it, it's just there. The, uh, the things are uh, cross compatible. Hit apply. And then it's playing right back in my After Effects timeline without any rendering. So that's that's something cool. Um, I have run out of time. There was there's tons of other stuff that I want to show you because like all of this here, uh, this is just like this. This started off as my uh, a light streaks preset, like. Again, one of the presets that comes free. This one is in the Emitters 2020 um, uh, library. Just bundled up a few of those. Again, with the, the same sort of recipe that I've used time and time again. Bit of distortion. Then come back in here. Bit of color correction. And a bit of glow. So distortion. 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 Blur, color correction, and glow. And out of just, again, just such a very, very simple, straightforward preset that I didn't do anything to. That is the secret source. Um, just layer on those those few little, little bits and bobs, and you can create some really, really fun uh, motion backgrounds um, just, just out of it. Now, we have, we have come to the end of the time. Uh, this is actually been really fun and it's gone really, really, really quickly. It's gone far too quickly. 
Um, but I do have a 12 month subscription of Boris Continuum to complete to give away. So, uh, how are we going to do this? If we have someone from the, uh, from the Boris team to chat in how to, we can do this. If not, I'm just going to ask anyone who wants to, uh, to enter the competition, just spam BCC in the chat. Uh, and then we will pick someone at random. I say spam BCC. Just do it once. Just do it once. All you have to do BCC in the chat. And then we will pick someone at random. Someone is asking me. Hang on. I think I think we've we've got this here. Okay. We have we have a winner. We have a winner. You can you can stop you can stop uh, spamming. Thank you very much. Uh, the winner watching on Facebook is Pedro Martinez. Congratulations, Pedro! You have won a twelve month subscription of Boris Continuum Complete BCC. Um, I just want to thank everyone for, for joining me for this live stream. Uh, it's definitely not the last one that we're going to be doing on this. Uh, if you want to learn more about Particle Illusion, uh, you can either go and have a look at the, uh, the Particle Illusion uh, tutorial series, the Getting Started series that is available on the Boris FX website or on our YouTube channel. Or if you want to take a look at uh, someone else who's uh, working with Particle Illusion, the uh, very, very talented John Dickinson. He's going to be doing a webinar about uh, Particle Illusion tomorrow, covering some uh, very different things than, uh, than what I've been covering today. So uh, register for that webinar and uh, enjoy Particle Illusion. But um, yeah, thanks a lot, everyone, for now. My name is Ben Brownlee from Boris Effect. I even managed to get the final uh, button press of my live stream correct. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for now, and I'll uh, see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.